What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are modifying even more cars. So my wife has been noticing like, hey, you're modifying the 335 IS, you're modifying the F8, even modifying even your 36 M3, but what about my car? It's been just, you know, just daily driver, there's no aesthetic modifications. So I'm like, you're right, you're right, you have a beautiful car. It's the F30 with the, I think the Estoro blue exterior with the red interior M Sport package. This is honestly a catch, we found it because it just, just the package, honestly. It is a clean title um, for the price we got it for we're just super 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 happy to have it's a great daily but at the same time we're used to having highly modified vehicles and this one is pretty much bone stock other than the fact that the previous owner actually put in some aftermarket lci tail lights and then i think he has some wheel spaces on there as well yes they do so other than those two things and he actually wrapped this carbon stuff which i'm a huge anti against like it's literally peeling up through the bottom right there the like the center one looks awful this the dash one's not bad but you can just tell it's fake carbon uh so we actually got some brand new carbon that we're gonna be placing all that stuff with some actual like overlays that will look 10 times better than I actually put on my 435. And literally, we're just gonna deck this thing out with carbon fiber. We have a bunch of things that came in today. I believe literally um, the full the full interior stuff is here. And then I think I have one external modification that is here. And then the rest of the external modifications will be coming in the day or two. And then we'll pretty much slap on all the exterior modifications. We pretty much did an entire list of things we ordered. From the rear end, we, I think we got the spoiler, uh, the rear bumper extensions. I wanted diffusers, but they were sold out on those. Um, we got side skirt extensions extensions, front lip, uh, side mirror caps, uh, I believe interior carbon fiber trim, paddles, um, yeah, like I'm telling you guys, like we got pretty much a bunch of stuff. I think that's it. And then I think I ordered some engine upgrades. Um, but yeah, as for today's video, I do want to focus on what we got today, um, which is the interior trim, some paddle stuff. And I think, I think the spoiler. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and install all those on the car. I'm super stoked. We are going to try to put on those carbon fiber stuff and see if there's anything else in that box because a boxes did come. And uh, if there's some more things in those boxes, we will go ahead and throw it on the car. So uh, that being said, let's make our daily drive aesthetically pleasing. So here's the box, guys. It, it feels like Christmas, all right. Uh, we actually have the Keys Motorsports key tag. I actually collect these. I actually have this red one already. It comes with a decal as well. If one of you guys actually want this, the first person to hit me up on Instagram, and link is gonna be down below. If you guys hit me up on Instagram, you guys will get this for free. I will mail this out completely for free, so just hit me up on there. But yeah, now opening up this guy, let's see what we got inside, guys. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, guys. <laughs> my God, guys. I'm like moving my eyes from the camera. I'm trying to see like, like, oh my god guys we have so many mods it actually looks like i think everything came in in terms of engine modifications aesthetically interior exterior everything i think I think this is everything. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys what we ended up getting, but we got some carbon fiber mirror caps. These are the same ones I got on my 435. I absolutely love these mirror caps. It makes all of a difference. I think it's gonna really stand out. So we got that carbon fiber one. Again, this package is from Keys Motorsport, if you guys haven't noticed yet. Uh, but yeah, we got the carbon fiber M4 style mirror caps. You can even say M3 style. We have the MST intakes. So these intakes, guys, I'm gonna say it again and again and again, are the best sounding intakes I've ever had on my car. MST is honestly, amazing it sounds insane but i was like you know what i don't want to just stop at mst i think if the other thing came in here as well which is this guy right here uh we're gonna have the craziest blow off sound ever so this this paired up with the intake you're gonna have the craziest blow off valve sound ever and i think on this car it's so much easier to install this on the n55 it is an absolute joke it literally took me three days but i think on this car it might take me probably eh, like probably like four hours or something like that like nothing too crazy so yeah we got that we got this with the intake this will probably be a whole nother video because we do have to spend like four hours trying to do that stuff uh but we also got the paddle extensions um i got black aluminum because i do like the feeling of aluminum it feels girthier it feels more weighted carbon fiber my wife's 
wrapped carbon fiber is so ugly, so we got her that as well. I don't know if you guys noticed so far what's going on, but in that cinematic you guys saw earlier, the front bumper has a major paint chip, so I decided to get a lip that actually covers that paint chip. Um, if you guys also saw, where else was it? In the interior, a lot of that wrap was like peeling up and stuff like that. I'm basically getting this full carbon fiber stuff to take care of that situation as well. And then one of the paddles, it's like peeling up and you can actually feel the metal go into your fingers. It feels really bad and the paddle is just like peeling up. I don't want to replace the paddles, it costs a lot of money, but you can replace pretty much how it looks and that would take all that ugly peeling OEM stuff away with their extended paddles and their extended paddles are going so much better. So yeah, not only are we actually modifying her car, but I'm just doing everything to also make this thing perfect. Um, the car is almost perfect. It does have those minor imperfections. I was like, you know what? Might as well get some mods for the car, but at the same time try to perfect it. Cause you guys know me and my details for cars. I love making my cars like perfect. Well, in this case, it's my wife's car, but I gotta show my wife's car as much love as I show my cars. I mean, I think that's just fair. But yeah, coming into here as well, yeah, that's all the intake stuff as well. So that is the intake stuff. I believe this is the intake, uh, like the covers. Yeah, so that should be part of the intake as well. So we're actually gonna leave all this stuff in here. When you guys order so many things, you just tend to forget what else you ordered. Looking in here, M-Style mirrors, uh, F30 carbon fiber M-Style mirrors. I actually have M-Style mirrors. Um, are these two sets of mirrors, guys? Uh, guys, um, I'm gonna hit up Keys Motorsports. I think I accidentally got another set. Uh, giveaway question mark? <laughs> I might hit him up and see if he wanted to just do a giveaway with you guys, but <laughs> that is a crazy Christmas gift on my end. I just got two sets, and obviously I work with my boy Keys. I'm not gonna just like take this. I'm gonna hit them back up and see what's going on with that, but it looks like they sent me two pairs, which is pretty crazy. Let me go ahead and hit them up and see what they want me to do with these. If I have to return them, I'll return them. It's only right, uh, but I mean possibly we'll see if we can do something else with this for you guys for Christmas, so I'll let you guys know what goes on with that. But what? Like, what? Now I'll just go ahead and see what we got in these bad boys. Now I'm pretending like I don't know, but if, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, it should be side skirts, rear bumper extensions, front lip and spoiler, which is uh, pretty awesome. So we are missing a few things, but check out what we got. We got a bunch of mods. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on two more things, which is the spoiler and the rear bumper extensions. I really want to do the spoiler today. Um, in terms of the rear bumper extensions, I want to do the rear bumper extensions at the same time as the side skirts and the front lip. Because I always feel like if you throw in a front lip, you're missing something on the side. If you put something on the side, you're missing something in the rear. So I like to do it all at the same time. That's why I was like, I'll do the spoiler because that's up top. Um, so anywho, we might pass on the lip today. We might pass on the side skirts today. We'll see how today's video goes. Um, but in the meantime, this is something that's gonna take a lot of time anyways is actually removing all the interior trims, removing the wrap from behind it because they did tuck it behind the door handle. So we have to move everything in the interior to remove all this fake carbon fiber and then put some 3M on it and put on our new carbon fiber because the new carbon fiber we got from Keys Motorsports is the overlays. Um, if you guys want the actual, I think like the M Performance carbon fiber trim, that is double the cost. Um, as for this car, we were, me and my wife are like, we're both cool with just doing the overlays because it's half cheaper. And, and honestly, it looks really good once you put it on. Like I had on my 435 and everyone always asks me like, where'd you get this carbon fiber trim? It doesn't look like like an overlay and that's what I like. I don't like things that look like overlays, but this one looks really, really, really good once you get it in there. So I think first things first, let's go ahead and just start working over here. We're just starting knocking out things like that. hate unwrapping stuff. Wrapping things are one thing, unwrapping is no fun, but definitely helps out if you guys have a heat gun. So just a little FYI.
Uh, but yeah, we finally got all this off. The wood is so ugly. That's probably why they wrapped it. I hate the wood. Wood is just terrible. They should put aluminum or something. I would honestly kept the aluminum if it was aluminum, but since it's the wood, um, that's why we're throwing off some carbon fiber overlays. It's gonna look so much better. So the only two things I'm actually gonna put on the car, um, actually I'm gonna put on three things. I'm gonna put on that piece, this piece, and that piece into the car before I actually put in the carbon fiber overlay, just cause it'll be a lot easier. And then as for these three pieces, I'm actually gonna put the carbon fiber overlay on it when it's off the car and just try to get all the edges perfect and then put it on the car. I think that's gonna be a whole lot better. So anyways, let's go ahead and reinstall these three dash pieces so we can finally put on the new carbon fiber. Removing a wrap just takes way too long. I think it took me about two hours just to remove all that wrap. Obviously, I was talking to my brother and stuff like that, but just to remove all the wrap and just put on those three pieces, I think it total took about two hours. Um, yeah, this is taking way too long to install some interior trim. I mean, it should have just been like the interior trims in the car, just remove the door panels, install those, easy peasy. But I guess now we actually have the heat gun out and uh, we are gonna be putting on uh, this, like it's not 3M, it looks like some kind of, uh, basically kind of a 3M tape. We're gonna put on all the carbon fiber stuff and just slap it in the car. Um, it shouldn't need anything else because it should basically be the exact same shape. Um, again, I've ordered this before, my 4th and 5 came out perfect, uh, so I'll let you guys know if I see anything, so any issues or anything like that, but as you guys can see, it's just an overlay, goes right on top of it, and as long as you have 3M, it should be just fine. We got the dash piece in there, the center piece in there, all the door, um, the door handles. So yeah, I mean, this kit pretty much comes with every single detail for the interior. Um, that's wood, gets transformed to carbon fiber, so it looks a lot better. Again, links to everything you're gonna be doing is gonna be down below. So this is from Keys Motorsports, and I just think it looks so, so, so good. I know my wife's gonna be super happy because the, the wrap just looked really ugly, and it was like a flat texture, and it wasn't 3D or anything, so it looked really bad. It was peeling in some areas, so obviously that is a huge, huge, huge upgrade. Now, the next thing I wanna go ahead and do is honestly the paddle. So these are aluminum. Um, they look absolutely amazing. They have a good amount of weight to it. They have carbon fiber ones, which I've done before. They're nice. They look amazing. I love the carbon fiber ones as well. But I think the aluminum like this one has some more weight to it. And in my opinion, these aluminum ones just feel a lot nicer. And the black just looks super good in stealth. So yeah, at this point, let's go ahead and install these guys. I think I have to remove the airbag and then remove the entire steering wheel to install these. So let's go ahead and just get the steering wheel out. And just to put it out there, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery. Make sure you guys do that too if you ever deal with airbag stuff. So now that we got the steering wheel here, guys, there's only one screw back here, one screw over here to pretty much take out these two paddles. Um, once you actually take it out, we can disassemble it, put on the new brackets, and put on the new paddles. This is gonna look so much better. Here's the before, guys. Look at the paddles. They actually look pretty good. I mean, these look like LCIs, but I just don't know if you guys can tell right here, but this has like been getting in my fingers. Like the metal is just like cracking off completely. Um, so yeah, this paddle just is, could have been in way better shape than this. It's pretty rough. So because it's rough, I figured might as well also upgrade it at the same time. I think these paddles are gonna look so, so, so good. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get these out. And guys, we finally got the paddles in the car. So we have the negative right here, the positive right here. Now the question is, do they work? That is that is the royal question. We're gonna put this thing in sport. All right, so I guess, okay, so that is the negative. 
Positive, positive, positive. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're in eighth gear right now. Down to first, second, first, second, third, second, first. Oh yes, guys. Paddles are working and they feel so, so, so premium. Honestly, guys, I'm not gonna lie. The carbon ones do look good, but these just feel so nice. These feel like Lamborghini paddles. Like they're just so high quality. And I think they're cheaper too. So I think, I think I'll have to give it to the aluminum. I actually really dig the aluminum. Again, if you guys wanna get these paddles, Keys Motorsports down below. Anything you guys purchase from Keys Motorsports, I have an affiliation with them. So I will get a small commission. There's a help in the channel at the same time. And at the same time, I have my discount code as well. So make sure to check out that code down below. Without further ado, we got the Paddles in, we got the carbon uh, trim inside. The interior is pretty much really coming together. It looks so, so, so good. I think the next thing you wanna go ahead and do is what else can we see from the inside of the car? Cause I wanna kinda just knock out the inside view. So we get to see the paddles, we see the carbon mirrors. Mirrors, that's definitely the next thing. Now I remember doing this on the 435 guys. You have to remove this glass to remove this. I believe there's like three screws that hold on this cap. And basically the last time I removed this, I cracked it. So. I'm gonna take my time. These go for like $150 a pop. So take your time trying to pry this thing out and don't put too much force on one side. Try to do like even throughout all sides. Anywho, I am telling you guys this, but at the same time, I'm hoping I don't mess anything up. Guys, that actually went way better than expected. So uh, the way that I honestly found out that works best is if you push the mirror up, and then try to pop it from the bottom. Why are you pushing inwards up here? You pop it from the bottom, so you apply equal pressure um, or opposite pressure, I would say. Uh, but it basically allows it to pretty much pop out. Once it actually pops out, I actually just put the, the mirror off to the side. I didn't even completely take it off because I didn't want to disconnect anything. And then there's three tabs. That thing pops off, this thing slaps on. That looks so much better, but that looks so aggressive and the rest of the car is not aggressive whatsoever. I cannot wait to put on the side skirts that we got over there, the front lip. We're just waiting on the rear things and the spoiler and it's gonna look so, so, so good. But yeah, that is one down, one more to go. And yeah, that happened. Honestly, I just remember this is the same exact side that cracked on my 435. I think the passenger one is so much more delicate. I swear to you guys, I barely gave it any force and this one shattered like instantly from the back. And this is the heated one like my 435. So that's $100. Oh man, <laughs> it is what it is. We got the mirror caps on there. And uh, next time we remove that glass, we're just putting in the new one. So we shouldn't crack the new one. Um, so anyways, now we got those bad boys in there. We almost perfected the driver's view. The driver's view now sees those beautiful M3 style mirror caps, the carbon fiber interior, the paddle shifters. But now unfortunately we have a side passenger mirror that's cracked. I'll order one of those tonight. Hopefully they got a little bit cheaper since the last time I ordered mine. Um, I honestly doubt it, but I really, really, really hope I can find one for a good deal. Wish me luck, guys. But yeah, that's gonna have to conclude the video as of now. I think I'm gonna wait off to put those when I actually get the rear uh, the rear fins as well. I was gonna actually do this stuff with the carbon fiber spoiler, but unfortunately, that's not what came in. And obviously the engine mods, I wanna do that in a different video because I wanna do some sound clips of drive by stuff like that. But yeah, guys, cue the B-roll. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next next one. Peace out.